This is Good Morning Indiana, working for you. Time right now is 427 here on your Tuesday morning. We do want to thank you for starting your day with us here on RTV6. I'm Lauren Casey. And I'm Meredith Barrick. We had a lot of snowfall last night yeah. and that has since turned into a lot of ice. So we are monitoring the roads all morning long to ensure that your commute is safe and easy. Yeah, uh, so I woke up this morning and you're kind of surprised to see how much snow is on the ground, yeah. especially in the grassy areas and bushes where it really stuck. The good news, I feel like most of the interstates and the state highways, they were, they were pretty clear this morning. We may still have some ice icy patches out there. Secondary streets, those are still a little bit ice covered and that's why we have several school delays today. It's also a cold morning, so you'll want to bundle up and prep your car. My dad helped me do this last night. You know, get the ice scraper yep. out there, get your hat, your gloves, a blanket or two, just whatever you need um, for the winter weather, because it's here. Right, and you never know what could happen. And we saw many, many uh, police departments tweeting out that there were stalled cars last night, yeah. cars getting into crashes. So it's always important to just be prepared. And our Alyssa Donovan is joining us now. Alyssa, things are cold out there. We yes. thought it was cold when it was sitting in the 30s and yeah, the 40s. No, no we <laughs> nice are <laughs> in for a rude awakening yeah, today. Yeah, a big change this morning. We actually just hit another record this morning, 13 degrees for our morning low, which wow. broke a 108-year-old record wow. for the city. So that's how cold it is. The record before that was uh, 14 degrees. Wow. So we just hit 13 degrees. We're back up to 14 degrees right now. But either way, you can tell it is cold outside. Those wind chills are below zero as well. So it's really going to feel very chilly as you step outside this morning. Temperatures today only going to climb to about 22 to 25 degrees. So it is going to stay very cold today. That's partially due to those gusty northwesterly winds we're going to see. We're going to see those wind gusts up to 25 miles per hour today. So along with the cold and that snow on the ground and those slick conditions, we are also going to see some windy conditions today. So it's really just going to be a bitter day outside. All right, people need to be careful out yes. there. Bring their pets inside, all of that. Alyssa, thank you. Another story we are following today, RT6 has been on top of this one, working for you you that mobile home park out by I-70 over on the southwest side of town. Those residents were told to get out, move their mobile homes. The attorney general filed a lawsuit against that owner, but now we know the court hearing is today. So they were allowed to stay in their homes till today, till the court hearing. And we're talking to some of the residents who hope that they just have mercy on them because the holidays are coming up. It's obviously snow packed out there right now. Yeah. So they're hoping to be able to stay there a little bit longer. Not an ideal time to just pick up and move right. whatsoever. And finally, this weekend, hiring Hoosiers, we are looking at the barriers that some people face in our workforce. Yeah, and so our Rafael Sanchez is taking a look today at the barriers keeping people from getting those next level jobs. So he's going to take a look at a program at Ivy Tech that's giving folks the skills and certification they need to be able to work on more tech based and machine based jobs that are a little better paying. And so he's going to show you how this program helps people get their certification right here on Good Morning Indiana. This is Good Morning Indiana, working for you. Straight ahead of 430 with winter weather upon us. It's important to stay safe on the roads. We'll have some tips on what you need to bring along in case you have an emergency. Plus, the Central Indiana community is hoping to get answers from their school board following what some are calling a mishandling of teacher misconduct complaints. And several more schools are planning to close as teachers go red for ed a week from today. We'll have the updated list. But first, it is 430 here on your Tuesday morning. Thanks for joining us. I'm Meredith Barrick. And I'm Lauren Casey. We're going to get to what the roads look like in just a minute. But first, we've got to talk about the cold weather. And Alyssa Donovan is joining us right now. Yes, and it is going to impact the roads. That very cold air has settled in. That's also going to create those slick conditions. Anything that fell overnight is going to freeze on the roads. Those temperatures are starting in the teens this morning. We just broke a record. We were at 13 degrees earlier in Indianapolis, which broke the previous record of 14 degrees, which is at what we are at right now. You can see a few spots even colder than that. We are in the single digits in Crawfordsville, 11 degrees in Greencastle, and it feels a little bit colder than that because of those wind chills. So we are below zero with those wind chills right now in Indianapolis and Peru and in Lafayette. So you have to bundle up today. It is cold outside. That is going to allow for that freezing on the roadways which means any of that precipitation will be slick that fell yesterday and overnight. So we had that cold front move through. Now we have high pressure building in. The good news with this is we are going to see some sunshine today, but
but we also have those slick conditions on the roads. We could see a few light flurries yet this morning as well, but for the most part, any accumulation has come to an end. Winter weather advisory is still in effect until 8 a.m. this morning, mostly due to those slick roads and maybe a few light flurries that we could see outside yet this morning. But then throughout the day, we are going to see plenty of sunshine, but it's going to be a breezy day with those winds out of the northwest. About 15 miles per hour, we could see those gusts up to 25 miles per hour, which is going to make it feel even colder outside. Highs today only into the 20s. Alyssa, thank you. I want to give you a live look at the roads right now. You know, when I woke up this morning, I didn't know what to expect, but was pleasantly surprised on the interstates. Here's a look right now on the north side. You can see that the roads are pretty much clear from any snow here at I-465 and Allisonville roads. That is great news if you're traveling through this area. You'll still want to watch out for those slick spots and icy patches. A little bit different story here. You can see it's a little bit slower going on I-465 and Fall Creek Road there on the northeast side of town. The good news right now, no crashes to report around the metro area, but of course, as things pick up, we're going to keep you updated. In-out crews have been out in full force following yesterday's snowfall, and with falling temperatures this morning, some roads will certainly be, still be slick. A crew of 80 hit the streets at 11 o'clock last night, and they'll be out through the morning commute. They're focusing on bridges, overpasses, and major thoroughfares. With that in mind, they want drivers to remember not to crowd the plow. That means give crews plenty of room to treat the roads, staying at least three car lengths away. At 433, if you do have to be out on the roads today, you'll want to make sure that you're prepare just in case of any emergency. That means having an emergency car kit stocked with things like a flashlight with extra batteries, a charged cell phone and an extra cell phone charger, a basic first aid kit, extra clothes and blankets, and also an ice scraper and jumper cables. And with the cold weather in the forecast for the next couple of days, the United States Post Office is asking customers to take steps to help keep mail carriers safe. Officials are asking residents to keep sidewalks, steps, walkways, and porches clear of any ice and snow. This helps mail carriers avoid potentially dangerous situations. Residents are also asked to remove snow piles left by snow plows to keep access to their mailboxes clean. And Storm Team 6 is helping you prepare for whatever winter weather brings this season. You can watch our special report, Weathering Winter in Indiana at 8 o'clock tonight, only here on RTV6. At 4.34, we are now following breaking news from the city's south side. Police are investigating a homicide at an apartment building near Garfield Park. This is a look at the map. Officers were called out to the Garfield Terrace Apartments on Shelby Street just after 3 o'clock this morning on reports of a person down. When officers arrived at the scene, they found a man lying unconscious inside the common area of the apartments. Witnesses tell police that they heard an argument shortly before the man was found. Police do not believe the man lived in that building. If you have any information about what happened here, please call Crime Stoppers. To some other news, now out of southern Indiana, Evansville police have arrested three people in connection to a body that was found in a detached garage. Police were called to a home on 3rd Avenue on reports of a deceased person. When they arrived, they found the body in a detached garage. Officers believed it had been there for a while and someone had tried to conceal it. One woman and two men were were all arrested in connection to the incident. That victim's identity has not yet been released and the investigation is ongoing. Back here in Indianapolis, there are still no charges after a man shot two women at his home on the east side. Officers were called out to Rudier's Avenue near Washington Street and Post Road just before 9 o'clock Monday morning. The homeowner told police that he thought the women were trying to break into his house. According to investigators, the women are in a domestic situation with that homeowner. They were both shot in the arm. Today, the community will get answers from members of a central Indiana school board after months of controversy. The Northwest Hendricks County School Board has been facing criticism over its handling of Tri-West coach and teacher Tyler Bruce. Bruce is under investigation over allegations of sexual misconduct with a student. The board voted to put him on paid administrative leave instead of firing him, which the administration recommended. Last month, Call 6 Investigates learned one board member is Bruce's uncle. Tonight's meeting starts at 6.30 at Tri-West Middle School. We will continue to follow the story and bring you the latest developments following the meeting. Tens of thousands of Hoosier school children will not be in class the week from today as the list of school districts taking part in the Go Red for Ed continues to grow. You can add Pike, Franklin, Washington, Lawrence, and Warren Township schools. In addition to Greenfield and Mount Vernon schools to join that growing list of districts that will be closed or offer e-learning days on Tuesday, November 19th. IPS and Wayne Township schools 
were already on that list. This is to allow teachers to attend the Go Red for Ed rally at the State House on the 19th. This is to lobby lawmakers to put public education at the top priority list during the upcoming session. Democratic presidential candidate Pete Buttigieg says if he is elected as the next president, he'd like to name a woman to lead the Department of Veterans Affairs for the very first time. The South Bend mayor told the Associated Press that President Trump has, quote, let veterans down and the needs of female veterans have been neglected for far too long. Buttigieg says a woman leading the VA could help spur cultural changes. Buttigieg himself is a former Navy intelligence officer. He served from 2009 to 2017. Purdue University is trying to solve a potential future pilot shortage. Purdue Polytechnic Institute has introduced a new aviation program that's intended to get more students trained in the air a year sooner. The program could save students $20,000 to $30,000, that is, in tuition and living expenses. Purdue also has a new flight simulator technology to help train those future pilots. For the first time in 25 seasons, IU football is ranked in the Associated Press Top 25 poll. Right now, they're ranked 24. And Saturday, the Hoosiers travel to Penn State for a Top 25 matchup. The news comes a little more than a week after IU's big win over Northwestern. That happened during the first November night game in Memorial Stadium history. The Hoosiers are now riding a four-game winning streak in conference play, their first since 1993. You can watch Saturday's game right here on RTV6. Kickoff is set for noon. And regardless of the outcome of Saturday's game, the Hoosiers are going bowling and the school officials want to make sure that fans are ready. The schools officially launched the IU Football Bowl Central website. Hoosier fans can visit the site to get information on all things bowl related. The site will also be home to important information regarding important dates and deadlines, special events, travel information, and more. This year's bowl trip will be IU's third in five years and it falls on the 40th anniversary of their first ever bowl game victory when the Hoosiers beat B. BYU in the Holiday Bowl of 1979. Indiana's official bowl announcement will be made Sunday, December the 8th. A big day in Washington today as the Supreme Court gets ready to hear oral arguments in a case that could affect the future of 700,000 young immigrants. And a blast of winter weather is not only affecting us Hoosiers. Coming up, how snowy conditions are creating a scary scenario for passengers on board an American Airlines flight in Chicago. Alyssa. And yesterday we saw the snow. The cold is here. Temperatures starting in the teens this morning. Even colder by tomorrow morning. I'll break down everything you need to know coming up. To our home. We love Burlington. Welcome back to Good Morning Indiana. The time right now is 442 here on your Tuesday. And we are keeping a close eye on the roads this morning as there may be some slick spots out there. Looks like everything is traveling up to speed here on the north side. I-465 over the White River. Again, we'll keep you updated on any crashes or delays, but give yourself just a few extra minutes. Today, the highest court in the nation is set to hear oral arguments about the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals Program, or DACA. The program offers protections for people who were brought to the U.S. as children of immigrants. President Trump has long claimed the executive action that brought DACA to life is an overreach of authority. Just months after taking office, he called for ending the protections for roughly 700,000 undocumented immigrants. In 2017, Democratic officials attempted to make a deal with President Trump to keep the protections in place. But that plan fell apart. Former President Jimmy Carter will have surgery this morning to relieve pressure on his brain. He was seen arriving at Atlanta's Emory University Hospital last night. According to the Carter Center, the pressure is due to bleeding from recent falls. Carter was hospitalized twice last month, once requiring 14 stitches after hitting his forehead on a sharp object. A second time for receiving treatment for a minor pelvic fracture. Both times the 95-year-old immediately got back on his feet, volunteering with Habitat for Humanity and teaching Sunday school. Carter, who was the oldest living president, previously survived brain and liver cancer. Google gathered millions of patient records on behalf of a health care provider without doctors or patients knowing it. That's according to the Wall Street Journal. The effort, codenamed Project Nightingale, began last year. It's a partnership with Ascension, the second largest health care system in the country. According to the journal, Google had access to complete health records, including names names, dates of birth, lab results, and hospitalization records. The company says that the goal is to use the data to help design new software to improve
improve individualized patient care. They also say the program is in line with federal health laws. Ascension operates 2,600 hospitals in 21 states, including St. Vincent Hospital Systems here in Indiana. The official start of winter is more than a month away, but an Arctic blast is sweeping across the country. The coldest air of the season is coming to the eastern two-thirds of the U.S., including right here in central Indiana. But in Chicago yesterday, a heavy dose of snow, wind, and ice caused an American Airlines plane to slide off the runway. The FAA says some of the plane's landing gear collapsed, but luckily no one was hurt. Still this morning, more than 1,000 flights have been canceled at O'Hare and Midway as three to six inches of snow is expected to fall in the area. And if you're leaving from Indianapolis this morning on a flight, you'll want to check your flight status. At last check, there were about a dozen delays and cancellations reported. And Alyssa, that is because it is so cold right now. You were telling us earlier, we have broken a record. That's right, so we just broke a record, 13 degrees this morning in Indianapolis. The previous record was 14 degrees for a morning low for this date. That was hit 108 years ago, so we just broke a very old record. Those temperatures are starting to recover a little bit. We came up to 14 degrees, so we are at that record right now, but we did break it. Very cold air has settled in right now. We are seeing those breezy northwesterly winds. That's adding to the chill in the air you're gonna notice this morning, taking those wind chills down below zero for much of central Indiana this morning. You are gonna notice two slick roads today. So we know those plows were out yesterday, but any precipitation on the roadways has flash frozen overnight, which means we do have the potential of some slick roads this morning for your morning commute. Now, here's how much snow we received yesterday. 2.8 inches at the Indianapolis airport. That is a record as well. The previous record for that date was 1.2 inches. That was hit in 1995. So we've hit two records in the past 24 hours or so, and we could break another record overnight tonight with those temperatures dropping into the single digits. Right now, 14 degrees in Indianapolis. Those winds out of the northwest, 20 miles per hour. So you are going to notice that very cold air as you step outside today, taking our wind chill down to just three below zero in Indianapolis. So you can really see where that cold air is sinking in from the north, that Arctic blast. That's going to stick with us today and into tomorrow. The good news is we are done with the snow. We could see a few light flurries yet this morning, but most of that activity has moved out of the area. We are going to see mostly sunny skies today. The reason we still have that winter weather advisory in place until 8 a.m. this morning is we cut, we could see a few light flurries yet this morning, especially around northeast counties, but really it's in place because of those slick roads. Just want you to be aware of what you're coming in contact with as you drive outside this morning. We are going to see those slick conditions. Tomorrow morning, much colder. Those temperatures dropping into the single digits across the area as that cold air continues to settle in. And then we are going to start recovering with those temperatures as we head through the rest of the week. We are seeing the coldest conditions today with our highs only into the 20s. Tomorrow will be into the low 30s before we're up into the 40s for the rest of the weekend into the weekend. But our average is usually in the 50s. So we are well below zero or below our averages for this time of year today starting in the teens with those temperatures. Sunny skies throughout the day, that's the good news, but it is going to be breezy, so it is going to be very chilly outside. Tomorrow, temperatures in the single digits to start your Wednesday morning. Partly cloudy skies, we'll see a little bit more cloud coverage throughout your Wednesday. Temperatures will climb into the low 30s, and then we'll start to recover with those temperatures. We are back into the 40s by the weekend with cloudy skies, not seeing a chance of precipitation in the seven day forecast, so that's the good news. We are done with the snow and rainfall for a little while. All right, Alyssa, thanks so much. Let's take a look, though, at those roads. And we have been mentioning there may be some icy patches out there, especially on secondary streets. Right here on your interstates, looking pretty good. This is on the southeast side of town. You can see they have pre-treated those roads, and it looks like that's helped. But the shoulders, as you can see, is still a little icy here. So keep that in mind as you're heading out there on the roads. Let's take a look over here. This is on the west side, I-465 and West Washington Street. We'll continue to keep a close eye out for any crashes or delays, but right now I'm not tracking any crashes around the metro area. Boeing remains optimistic that its 737 MAX jets will fly again this year, despite some airlines pulling the planes from their schedules until early March. Monday, Boeing announced plans to resume deliveries of its grounded planes as early as next month. The announcement comes just days after Southwest and American Airlines said they would not be flying the planes until the first week of March. Still, investors cheered the new timeline, causing Boeing shares to jump nearly 5% Monday. The FAA 
has not commented on a timeline to get the jets back in the air. China's annual Singles Day shopping bonanza has brought in a record amount of cash. The 24-hour shopping festival raked in $38 billion this year for e-commerce company Alibaba. That's more than Amazon made in its entire last quarter. The 11-11 festival initially began as Singles Day in 1993 when college students chose to celebrate being single. Alibaba adopted and promoted the theme in 2009. From there, it evolved into a day when consumers in China, single or not, buy gifts and celebrate. It's now the largest individual online shopping day worldwide, bringing in more money than Black Friday and Cyber Monday combined. And Jeopardy! contestant's heartwarming message brings host Alex Trebek to tears. While he said that message was worth more than winning. And coming up all new at 5, much of central Indiana remains under a winter weather advisory this morning. Our Kelsey Anderson joins us live with what you can expect to see when you head out the door and the tips you need to make sure your vehicle is winter weather ready. But first. I'm Vinny Politan. Coming up today on Court TV, Court is back in session down in Tallahassee, Florida. Florida versus Henry Segura. He's been charged in the deaths of his former girlfriend, her twin daughters, and the son they shared together. The prosecution says it was murder by Henry Segura, but Henry Segura and the defense says it's a completely different story. It's the Mexican drug cartel. We're still in the prosecution case. We're live in Tallahassee today on Court TV. And don't forget, you can watch all the new Court TV live right on your mobile device by visiting CourtTV.com. Time right now is 4.51. We'll be right back. Welcome back. It is 454 here on your Tuesday, and we're keeping a close eye on those roads. Here's a live look at the downtown area. What you can expect at the north split. Traffic is traveling up to speed. We'll keep you an eye out for any crashes or delays that might slow you down. Alex Trebek was nearly brought to tears when a contestant left a heartfelt message during the Tournament of Champions final Jeopardy round last night. When Trebek got to contestant Dhruv Gar, who was in a distant third place, he revealed this answer. Move your smiling. I like that. Let's take a look at your response. Did you come up with the right one? No? What is we love you out? That's very kind of you. <laughs> Thank you. Casio, 1995. You're left with the five bucks. Okay. Oh, in a tweet, Gar says right before that, he revealed his we love you, Alex message. Trebek shared he was re-entering treatment for pancreatic cancer. Gar also said he could have tried to solve the puzzle, but he just kept thinking about Trebek, so he was glad he got to say what everyone at the tournament was thinking. I love that. Gives me goosebumps. Yeah. Well, take a look at this incredible video. It shows a group of drivers out in Houston banding together to help rescue a dog. Toby Tinelli has his cell phone rolling when he spotted the dog running full speed on Highway 90. There he is. Multiple drivers are seen slowing down. They put their flashers on. Oh. Several drivers even stopped in the middle of the freeway and they got out of their cars trying to catch the dog. It turns out that the pup had gotten loose from its owner who was in an accident about a mile up oh. the freeway. After several minutes, a group was able to surround the dog with one person grabbing the leash, bringing it back to safety. As for the owner, he was just relieved to be reunited with his dog after that heart stopping chase. Oh my goodness. So glad that all those people are there and Seriously. could help out that everyone was safe. So yeah. often most people would just drive by and, and like, oh, say, you know, yeah. yeah, what can I do? But you can make a difference and help and I can't yeah. imagine. Yeah, He's the relief scared from the yeah, crash anyways, Yeah, the so. relief that that owner felt uh, seeing, being reunited yeah. with, with the dog and uh, we, however, are not getting any relief from this winter weather. Not yet, not yet, mm -hmm. not today and definitely not tomorrow morning. So we're in the teens this morning. It feels even colder because those wind chills are below zero and many spots. Temperatures today only climbing into the mid 20s. The good, the good news is we're gonna see some sunshine, but it's gonna be breezy out there as well. Tomorrow dropping into the single digits to start your Wednesday morning.